Hey there guys, so the last time in the anime, we saw that Cry had accidentally lost the slime that Citri had given him to keep it safe. It could destroy the whole capital so Kreo was in stress thinking about it, but at the same time, there was something weird going on inside the White Wolf dungeon. So the Hunter Association head, Gark, decided to meet Cry because it was weird that Cry stepped into that dungeon when he rarely goes into any other dungeons. So the situation got turned into Cry's favor in this way. That's why he informs Gark's assistant that there's something dangerous in the dungeon when they arrive to meet him, and promises to send Seven to help them out with investigation. So after solving that, Cry was going into the slums with Liz. She was considering it a date, and Cry had gotten a word of a great ice cream shop in the slums. So he was taking her there, as it was a perfect excuse to make Liz happy and find the slime as well. Two birds with one stone. But the ice cream shop owner was associated with the criminal syndicate and opened this shop as a facade for their operation. So he thought Cry found out this is their secret base disguised as a shop. So he didn't open the shop at all. But Liz smelt the scent of ice cream, and since it was close, Cry lets it go and took Liz back. He was relieved that Cry left, but Cry was still in distress because he couldn't find his slime. So he asked Liz when Citri was getting back. Well, Citri took all her equipment, so she thinks it'll take a while. Then, their Eva came in with the report that she selected members to investigate White Wolf Dungeon. Cry wasn't the one joining them, so he was fine. But the den was filled with those criminal mamage sand. They were thinking that Cry is one step ahead of them who found their ice cream shop. But Sophia thinks they should fight Cry. No one was up for it, because he's a level A hunter. But Sophia had a plan to take him out with her new defense system. With him out of there... The plan will run smoothly, so the leader approved, but on the other hand, Tino came to Guild and saw a bunch of members in the hall, and one of them told her that Cry gathered them to investigate White Wolf Den since Ark Brave isn't around, and this many are the replacement for Ark and his team. Cry himself was surprised to see this many people because it's gonna cost them big, so he tried to suppress the numbers and everyone turned pale, so to do the damage control, he tried to calm them down but no progress there because this job was for Ark Brave and they need at least this many to replace him. So Eva lifts a bit of the burden by telling Cry that Gark is also funding this investigation. So Cry gives a green light to them but then Liz pops out to take on the job as well. But Cry gave a clear no for an answer and Seven and his team were already in the dungeon beating out Phantom and digging out info at the same time. Cry warned them to look out for slime-like things on this investigation. With it, they took off, and the syndicate was ready to repel the adventurers from the White Wolf Den. But they were scared by the chances of seeing grievers too. Yet Sophia had confidence in her defense system and knew there's only two grievers in the town right now, just Cry and Liz. Most of them are not even present, so they could pull this one out only if Citri does not show up. She's the alchemist genius, but Sophia had a plan to kill her as well. So their leader gave Sophia a free pass to execute her plan, and Seven and his team found nothing so far. So some of them didn't believe in Cry, but Seven got the news of the reinforcement. So he calls his party out to meet them. But one guy from reinforcement party was being over smart and underestimated Cry's warning. Thinks it's way too much to find slime. So Seven told them he once went with Cry to see the cheery blossoms out of town, but for some reason Cry told him and his party to bring out their weapons as well. Seven was puzzled, but at their outing, the cheery blossoms place turned into a dungeon. Cry's warning has that much value, which is why Seven even bought a communication rune to get info from Cry as fast as possible. And for Cry, who was enduring Liz's tantrum because she wants to go as well. But then their Citri came in to help them as she got the info about something dangerous going on. And even Gark was ready to go to White Wolf Den because Liz kept looking down on him for his old age. Anyways, Cry fills her in on the slime that had escaped. So Citri told him that she designed the slime in a way that it won't attack her and Cry. She even found where it could have escaped. Citri had another request for Carrie. Before we know it, the scene goes to Seven and the guy bought the reinforcement here. So Seven takes command of the group and tells them their enemy is a slime. The men's were having second thoughts about this mission. Seven asked them if they had anything to deal with the slime, weapon or something. The random people suggest random ways because the slime dies whichever way you attack it, be it weapons or magic. But the troublemaker again came forward to barge into the dungeon and others felt pity for him. 
Though Seven told him that everyone here knows he's sure to die first. Because everyone knows if Christ sent them on this mission, surely not going to be easy, but Gain just can't believe on Cry's word at all. Then, a red-haired girl named Talia, who works with Citri, offered a thing that made with Citri in their lab. The problem they are unaware of was the syndicate and they have already made a plan to deal with Seven and his party. Well, Seven sent his man in group and left some people outside to serve as rescue personnel. And if anything dangerous happened, he told them to blow the whistle. Until noon, they weren't able to find anything at all. So the brunette again comes to show that what he said was right. There's nothing to worry about, but Seven doesn't care about him and his opinion. So the game goes off to the forest to answer nature's call. But even there, he was cursing cry. But suddenly he heard some rustling sound and went in to check out. There he saw some shady guys had brought a phantom and planned to do something with it. So he charged in and attacked them but a fire attack injured his arm. Yet he took out both of them, but one guy stood up and gave the syringe to the phantom that made some genetical changes to it. Now it will target a person who has more mana material. Its roar was heard from afar, so seven orders to prepare for the battle, and as he goes into the forest found Gain all injured. He told them Kra was right, as a slime is on the move, but it looked a bit different than a slime. So Seven tried to take it out with his arrows, but nothing was having any effects on it, be it magic or weapons. So Gain told them about his encounter with some weird guys who made this slime thing out of Phantom. It wasn't a real slime, it was still dangerous. So Talia gave Seven that liquid which could kill a slime. Seven installs it in at the landing point of the Phantom, but it didn't work out, which proves it's not a slime. And the guy remembers that Cry had warned them about a slime-like creature rather than a real slime, which irritated Seven even more. But then Citri stepped in to take the charge. She noticed and told them there's a magic barrier surrounding that monster, which is why their attacks weren't working. So from a genius point of view, she figured out it's using mana material to replenish its body. And that is why it's targeting her now, who has the densest mana material here. And while thinking about it, she kept dodging its attack. Then, she told Seven to target that. And just as he did, the monster dissolved. Citri thanked Seven for the help. She thinks she lacks in comparison to her sister. But more importantly, she told them about the Akashic Tower, a syndicate who's trying to manipulate vaults at their will. And their leader's name is Magnus, a high-grade criminal, and Mungans was the one who made that creature from his research, so their main goal is to capture him. With that, it was decided that Citri would take the lead, but on the other hand, Liz was still trying convincing Cry to let her go to the White Wolf Dungeon, and the answer was still no. But sadly, that's where our episode 6 and 7 ends, yet stay tuned to watch more of its episode on my channel, and for that subscribe the channel, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update.